YouTube family. Let's talk about it. Seem like everybody need to take the brakes back. Ah, dudes be capping on the internet. Things could have went bad for a lot of real ones, but let me just go out the way to say rest in peace to Fat Shardy Jaro, you feel me, and G Skinny Jaro, because a lot of bloggers got this one wrong. A lot of people were trying to say G Skinny was the one who actually killed Fat Shardy and set him up after an argument over snitching allegations. We're going to get into all that and show you how a cold case was solved where we got the actual perpetrator. You won't believe who did it. It's kind of sad and depressing as well we're gonna get into that ladies and gentlemen but before we get started let's hit the notification bell hit that like button rock out with your boy dj bless one on i smoke hip-hop live you feel me make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any breaking news coming this way but let's hit them with the duck intro fbg shit So we got a situation. Basically, let me fast forward it. I mean, rewind it back before we get to the breaking news. Now, y'all all remember October 30th, 2021, about 12.05 a.m., Chicago police found two men, 28 and 27 years old, shot in the 2700 block of West Belmont Avenue, police said. The 28-year-old was found with multiple gunshot wounds through his body. And the other 27-year-old was found with, you know, basically shots in the torsos, upper body, that is, for y'all who don't know. Now, both were taken to Illinois' Masonic Medical Center where they died, police said. The 27-year-old was identified as Keon Holton. That would be skinny, G skinny, that is. You know what I mean? I mean, um, I'm, I apologize. The the key on would be your man Fat Shardy. Now let's keep reading it. They're saying the 27 years old was identified as Keon Holton, according to the Cook County Medical Center. The other man was identified as Keon Vance. You feel me? Now what's happening is Fat Shardy's brother Reginald. Okay, let, let me say this guy's name correctly so we don't say his name the wrong way. Fat Shardy brother. They got it as. Diamondy Dellen Reginald Holton. That's basically messed up, bro. I don't think you guys understand. This is Bobby PBG. Yes, that's right. PBG. Tay Sav in them. Rest in peace to Young Pappy. Blue Double. You feel me? And a whole lot of people on that label, by the way. Yes, he comes from that area. And according to police report, he is the guy, the gentleman that actually shot. You know what? Let me put himself on the screen. He is the gentleman that shot. You feel me? Fat shardy and g skinny over a alleged argument i'm hearing but we're gonna read what happened now the court paperwork is showing this so this is actual receipts ladies and gentlemen not he say she say this invalids all the videos that we're talking about that fat shardy came up to g skinny and then g skinny killed him and it was like if g skinny killed fat shardy who killed g skinny there was like fat shardy family is the one that killed g skinny but now as we're reading more court paperwork coming about that's showing us a little bit more about this situation we get to see the whirlwind that the families of them had to go through as you're looking at the caskets and and, and the family pictures as well we'll get into the family situations a little bit later but let's read that situation a little bit together now it's going to be hard to read for some of y'all i'll try my dual diligence now the incident say this is a fugitive apprehensive u.s marshal great lakes regional fugitive task force arrest by beat 57 55 bravo and it says a um alpha october sierra basically met with detective shinner badge number dash two zero four seven nine from the area five violent blank miles because a lot of the uh ladies and gentlemen a lot of the wording on is missing so that's what i'm trying to do my best due diligence to read it for y'all now the suspect fat shawty's brother um how to say his name properly Bo bobby you know booby or bubby i hope i ain't mess it up it says bubby basically was positively identified on video surveillance as the person who on october 20th 2021 at approximately you know in such hours he basically shot both of the gentlemen 
after a verbal altercation at the 2800 West Belmont, you know, Avenue. Both victims was transported to Illinois' Messianic. Y'all already know that part. Now, the surveillance said after the time, they observed, you know, a gray um, forte bearing Illinois' tag number blank 89604 pulled into the parking lot with the subject in a passenger seat. Vehicles parked, basically, you know what I'm saying? Seen what really kind of happened. Now, the parked vehicle, um, basically, he got out of the passenger side of the vehicle, proceeded to walk towards the building, AO exited covert, you know, basically, and placed the subject in the co uh, custody. Th this thing, y'all, is kind of deep because his family's involved. Now, I want y'all to go back to the video to remember when this news was breaking news and when it happened. I hope y'all don't mind, but let's go back to a little rewind history. Now, let's go to the breaking news of this situation. Green hood. Side with our top story, Rob. At last check, authorities say that no one is in custody, but they did say that a witness told them that the suspect is a man and was wearing a green hoodie at the time of the shooting. Tonight, folks here in this community say the violence is getting out of control. Two men under 30 shot dead. And then I actually found the, I found the wallet over here from the victim. Brian Cruz and other employees at VMB Auto Clinic are disturbed knowing the shooting happened close to where they work on the 2700 block of West Belmont around 12 this morning. Chicago police say they found a 28 year old man on the ground with multiple gunshot wounds. First responder took that man to the hospital where he died. Investigators say moments later, a second man found shot. First responders transported him to the hospital where he died as well. He was just 26 years old. It's just crazy, you know? Yeah, okay. we're, not, we're not safe in Chicago. It's a harsh reality for Cruz. That's why when he leaves work at night, he takes precautions. I just look my surroundings, be careful with the alley too, you know? And then just go to my car quick. And anyone with any information about those shootings are asked to call police. Reporting live on the city's north side, Rob Sneed, WGN News. Now, you can see this situation was taking a lot of surrounding answers and get backs allegedly by bloggers claiming X, Y, and Z. Now, the two men basically were shot that Saturday morning on Avondale on the north side. A lot of people tell me that's the treacherous side. It's kind of calm, but when that storm comes, they take a lot of people with them, meaning multiple people get ghosts. And, and you know, um, the 27 years old was Fat Shardy. You know what I'm saying? The other man was G Skinny, you guys know. And it was just a situation that people was trying to make it make sense. People was bringing rumors and all type of allegations with it. You know what I'm saying? A lot came with this. And, and people got to, like, remember, nobody took back those words and what they said. Nobody erased the BS that came with it. People just left it up there like, G Skinny just killed them. Now, what I'm thinking in my head, this is my opinion, something kind of went left. Maybe they went to talk to G Skinny about alleged snitches situations. I don't know if that to be true or not. But maybe something happened with both brothers approaching G Skinny. And I'm thinking in my head, maybe... You feel me, Reginald, uh, um, basically, Pubby, PBG Pubby, Fat Shorty's brother, kind of went wild with the switchers, allegedly, and he, and trying to go for G Skinny, he got, you know, Fat Shorty, or G Skinny dropped Fat Shorty, and, you know, the brother was trying to retaliate, and he ended up hitting, you feel me, uh, 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 um, G Skinny, but according to the reports, they're saying both murders on video as well is by the hands of Fat Shorty's brother, Pubby. So maybe they got surveillance showing him drilling both. I don't know. It's a dirty game, a dirty world. BG told us a long time ago, free that man, BG. I can't make it make sense. I'm just trying to descript it in my mind the best way possible. And this is seeming like almost the best way. It's kind of sad. You know, it's an unfortunate situation. Now, I want y'all to go through some of the the comments and what people were saying about the situation, people's opinion about it. Um, let's look at that together so y'all can see that. Now, as you see on your screen, you got people say he killed his own brother, question mark, question mark, question mark. You got another person say that ish had nothing to do with T-War birthday. I agree. You got a lot of people say skinny 
killed Fat Shorty and his brother killed Skinny. Maybe, like I was alluding to, maybe by accident he killed his own brother. You know what I'm saying is, let me rewind some of this. You got somebody anti-social 329 says, how he charged for birth murders, then forget the rumors you heard prior to this dude charged with both murders. So they believe he killed both, so there would be evidence to corroborate it if Fat Shorty and Skinny not did none to each other. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. Before we keep going, we'll go back to this. I want y'all to remember when Truth Teller did an interview with Fat Shorty's, you know, father. You know what I mean? And the father seemed not at peace, but at peace with the fact that he loved G Skinny and, you know what I mean, uh, um, basically he loved G Skinny and... and, and his son the same way he said it felt like i lost two sons so let's go to that right quick and to what he said the truth tell her that day people man because he wasn't what people respected you understand what i'm saying fires with the drill culture and so he wasn't a rapper though. not at all Know all the yeah, he they grew up together. You know. Oh yeah, it 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 rubbed me the wrong way, but at, at at the at the end of all of it, it's like they truth, somebody else truth, and then the truth. You understand what I'm saying? So it's always gonna be three sides dealing with this internet. So the internet kind of made it seem like they had battles. And I don't want to get too deep into that, but is there anything you want to speak on that? I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. They ain't had no battle because it's like, like, Skinny, he, his birthday is October as well as mine. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, they all was kids. They all good kids, man. They just, it's different paths. They, they did different things. Like, they paint pictures of the man, Skinny, like, he this, he that. I ain't got no ill feelings about Skinny. Skinny lost a daughter. He got a mama that love him just like I love my son. And I know this. You understand what I'm saying? So, when they paint these pictures saying that, you know, they was mad at each other, they fought each other, them all lies, man. It's just, when when you say things happen and, 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 and it be mishaps and, and things Y'all want to see that full interview? Make sure you go subscribe to Truth Teller TV to get Big Dell. That's Fat Shardy's dad who dispelled the rumors and all that about his son, Jaro's City, Skinny, and, and you know, Fat Shardy's death. But it's a lot, man. And, and I, my heart goes out to the families, man. As you can see, the families was hurting at the funerals. These are the going goodbye situations. A lot of people can never get their loved ones back. This is a real life situation, man. And it hurt to see that people got to go through this to wake up. You know what I mean? Maybe, you know, Bubby PBG is innocent. I don't know, man. This whole thing is going to make sense soon, eventually. You know what I mean? But we got to be careful in how we report the news. We got to be very careful because these folks ain't coming back from these situations. It's up and stuck forever, unfortunately, man. So... This your DJ, DJ Bless One, man, reading the news, trying to do the best that I could do for y'all, man. Love your family, love your kids, and definitely stay blessed. You see what it is out here, man. You got to keep your head on that swivel. It's a dirty game, dirty world. I'm going to keep saying it, man. It's very shysty out here. Look, man, it is what it is, man. Rest in peace to the deceased. Let's hit them with that FBG Duck intro. FBG shit. Like a, like a shit